What's up everybody, John from Pause Games here, welcome back to Campaign Killer, and today I think we're about to kill off the campaign uh, for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So we're back to the campaign menu here, the final countdown. After telling the truth about the whereabouts of Perseus, Bell leads the team to the Sol Solovetsky Islands uh, off the coast of northern Russia. We're going to jump in here, resume mission. We're going to restart the mission. That, yeah, I think we we're doing recruit the entire time. Not sure. Weird glitching cutscene right out of the gate. Luckily, this entire cutscene was already covered uh, in the last episode. That was weird. That little, like, farting, glitchy, crappy sound. Whatever. <clears throat> but uh, let's just run. I'll run through this camp or this uh, this cutscene one more time here. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Okay, so that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much where we left off uh, last episode, right? We cleared through that, <clears throat> that cutscene, and now we're jumping into the final countdown. The Solovetsky Islands, USSR, March 15th, 1981. Approach the Perseus base. Like I said, I'm pretty confident this is actually the last level in this game. I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, this might be a very short episode. This might be, you know, an hour and a half long level. I don't know. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna stop. Alright, we're not gonna stop here until this level at least is complete. Assuming this is the last. What was that? Was that like an EMP or something? Oh shit. Oh, I got a, I got a grenade launcher here. Boom. Oh jeez. All right, so we got some cinematic Call of Duty moments obviously through this. Do I still have my grenade launcher? No, okay. So now I just have like a regular firearm say I think I got him there's no time limit on this right I could just like casually kill everybody <laughs> oh crap Okay, we got an RPG up top here. I, that's just a fire. I don't think that's actually the RPG guy. Oh no, that it was the RPG guy. Okay, I think there was a grenade somewhere. Yeah, they tossed it at my last position. Ab uh. We're getting into that gray area again where people start pushing up too far and it's genuinely hard to tell if they're, you know, with us or against us. We're gonna keep pushing up though. I think I saw somebody up in those windows though, which makes me a little bit nervous. 
Okay, bud, you're gonna sneak around here and try to kill me? We're gonna do this? Okay. Just wasted so many bullets in the past, like, five seconds. Five to ten seconds. Are we pushing up further, guys? What am I blowing to shit? Oh, the, uh, the anti-aircraft thing, I guess. Oh, jeez, get over there. Thank you. Oh, that's my guy. Okay, so, yeah. We on it. We're gonna blow this thing to shit. Run. Okay, I definitely did not need to go that far. So to locate the next anti-aircraft vehicle. Where am I going? This way? The church? Is that a church? <laughs> right, so like he said when we were coming in, I kind of talked over him. But yeah, we're trying to get in here and take out these anti-aircraft So we're in like some kind of ant, like underground bunker. It seems like right now. Oh, jeez. Ah. Oh. It doesn't feel like my teammate, or not my teammates, my squad mates. I'll say, are really doing nearly as much as I am. Oh, jeez, we got a juggernaut. He's dead. Oh, jeez. Grenade. I think. Oh, it's all the way back there. Okay. Let's say Adler, you're about to get blown up, but... Twas not the case. Okay, so we're back top sides. Top side. Okay, so... Are we gonna get a time limit, or is this just the dialogue that's like, hurry up, hurry up, launch them, blah, blah, blah. Is this a cemetery that will, a cemetery with like a tractor and... Ooh, Jesus. Okay. Is this my guy stacked up on me? Yeah, this is Adler. Have to flank the uh, the MG. Yeah, he's a. Uh... I'm working on it, okay? Oh, he's already dead, dude. You're telling me to flank a dead guy? All right, so now we got one minute. We did it, guys. Or we're about to do it. I saw it another, like, half a minute. This is a load of crap. Dead. Well, yeah, what do you expect when you, you, bomb, you bomb 30 seconds early? They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. 
Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. We stopped them. Those towers are history. What's your situation down there? Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hand! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah, after capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, we should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. We spoke in the MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. He'll return to the agency in good time. The pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Well, we did finally get Aldridge. That son of a bitch. Perseus's network is still intact, though, and they'll eventually rebuild. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. Maybe someday Perseus can join him. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me... It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. What? Is that just the end? That's just the end of the game.
all the achievements coming rolling in. That's just the end of the game. Like, freaking straight out of, of Mice and Men. Man, he's just like, tell me about the rapids again. And then they just, blammo, shoot you in the face. I, I, I don't know. I assume you you and Adler kill each other? There's there's no explanation, uh, unless there's some kind of post credit scene, which I guess we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, no, there was no kind of explanation. The last level was, like, ridiculously short and sweet, which I don't necessarily have a problem with, but, like, it just seemed... I did have it on recruit settings, like game settings, or difficulty settings, but, like, I, I expected it to at least be longer. Like, it, I've never found a game where, like, easier difficulty means shorter game, if that makes sense. Like, you still play the same amount of game, it's just easier right? This was, like, the only way for that level to be of any value, like, of any, like, actual duration, I guess, is if you just can, like, you played on a really hard level, and you just, like, really got gunned down a couple of times. It was just a super short level. It wasn't even, like, it, it jumped in with the driving sequence. That was very short-lived. Uh, you get off of that, and you basically run through. You kill everybody. That whole last level, like, it, we're only, what, 15, 16 minutes into it? Like, just that, like, it was like a 10-minute level, and that was it. That was the final countdown. That's the end of the game. And then, like, the cutscenes at the end, they weren't very epic. Like, that, that cutscene leading into the final countdown level was like, oh, yeah, we're talking, like, real Call of Duty. They don't know, like, Black Ops, you know, we, they don't know us. They're not going to brand us heroes, villains. They're not even going to know we exist. We're ghosts. We're epic. Like... Let's do it. That was like, okay, pumped up for this last level. The last level was kind of anticlimactic. You get bombed at the end. I mean, I, technically, first of all, I had 30 seconds left on the clock, and I still got bombed. So, like, that was built into the game. That was the cutscene. They, didn't, they don't care how much time you have left on the clock. The end of the game is you get blown up. But not really. You get straight up blown up, your entire team, and yet you all walk away completely unscathed. And then, after all of that, after walking around uns or walking away unscathed, Adler still shoots you in the head at the end. Like, what? What? Okay, so this is kind of cool, though. Uh, we hope this finds you healthy and well. On our end, we find ourselves reflecting more grateful than ever. Grateful to you, our fans. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. We were inspired not only because the community deserves the best, but because a sense of community is more important now than ever. Blah, 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 blah. More than anything, we're grateful to be making games this year, and now we're thrilled to finally join you online as we've been right beside you offline. So that's a cool little message from Activision at the end of the credits there. Uh, but that's all there is to this. the credits. So I did look it up, okay, and there are actually three different possible alternate endings here in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Believe it or not, that shit show of an ending that I got was actually, quote, the good ending. That ending that we saw was best case scenario. You save the world, and then you get shot. There are two alternate endings, though. And those are the endings that I'm going to try to unlock right here, right now. See if we can do this. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to try. Okay, so apparently all of the decisions you make through the entire game are 100% meaningless, according to the guides that I found online, right? So, and it doesn't even matter, the, cut, the, the side missions, like, it tells you what you accomplish, but it doesn't actually impact the ending of the game at all. There's one level, apparently... Two, technically two different sections, but one level that actually makes the big difference, and that is the Identity Crisis level. So we're going to overwrite our current mission's progress. Confirm. Super broken here. So anyway, so this is this is basically throwing us back into what we did last episode here on Campaign Killer, right? And so this is where... This should be where we decide, uh, 
I'm going to skip through the cutscene. This should be where we decide whether or not we tell the truth about the whereabouts of Perseus. Now, in order to get the good ending, you tell the truth, as we did in the original playthrough. In order to get the bad ending, which apparently is a totally separate level, you don't even go to the final countdown level, which stands to reason, I suppose, uh, you have to lie. Now, there are two different iterations. There's one good ending, which we saw the first playthrough through, uh, and then there's apparently two iterations of the bad ending. Where is Perseus? So this is the big moment where you get to choose. So this cutscene is all set up ambush at Duga. Oh wait, okay. Right. So there's this radio. We'll leave within the hour. So that's actually how you get the one uh the one ending. This is actually the harder to get ending, apparently. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. So you do get a different cutscene going into it, too. Uh, but there are two different endings that are bad. Alright. Everyone converge on the gate. There's one bad ending that you get if you don't touch that radio. There's another bad ending that you get if you do. So there's a different level called Ashes to Ashes. So you, instead of going to the final countdown level... Signal ambush. Ooh. Now I finally get the opportunity to uh, do some friendly firing. I was gonna say after that last uh, that last section. Where's Adler at? Oh, these are just random guys on my squad or my the U.S. squad. I feel really scummy. Oh. This makes me feel dirty doing this, though. There goes Mason, too. Oh, my God, dude. I feel so dirty. Oh, 
Oh, there goes Lazar. I saved him and now I killed him. And I like how he didn't even get a... He didn't even get like an epic uh, cutscene like the rest of them did. Where's Adler at? Just finish Adler. Where's he at though? Inside this building? I should have assumed that, but... Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? <laughs> I'm supposed to tap this. Oh boy. Oh boy, Adler. That's for shooting me in the back of the head. Or, well, not in the back of the head, but. Double tap. Street top should have been put down long ago. I can't pull the trigger on him. So now what? Is that the end? Now what, dude? Like, he's dead. We done? We done here? What do I do? do I oh, I have to talk to him. Okay. It's like, what do I do? You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky. Stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Mm, yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, 
then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali. He fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure. As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding Anton Volkov. If you can locate him, bring him back to us. If they have broken him, he must be eliminated. You say that Helen Park perished in Cuba. She had been sniffing around the edges of our group for years. One less Western nuisance for us to deal with. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. Unfortunately, our key asset within the U.S., Robert Aldrich, was killed. Our spy ring there is still intact, but we will need to rebuild and find new leadership. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help Shepard in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate all three of Rudnik's key assets. We have no one else to help fill the void. Inserting new agents into such influential positions will take years. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. Here's another achievement. Ashes to Ashes. Complete Ashes to Ashes in campaign on any difficulty. <laughs> so there's that alternate ending. That's the fir That's one of the two bad endings. So, so we've seen the good ending now, which was trash. The second ending, the bad ending, that bad ending, uh, it was bad, but Bell... For the, char the lead character you've been playing as this entire time, it was good. At least the Russians didn't kill him, like the Americans did. So there's that. Uh, I'm just going to skip that, and we're going to go for the third ending, if possible, now. So let's get back into the identity crisis, and we're going to try this a third time here to get this third ending. Again, none of the other encounters through the entire game actually matter at all super glitchy going back into levels like this um but with that being said i think the second ending that we just saw the bad ending the first bad ending where you get that ambush squad to come in um it's bad it's not a happy ending by any stretch of the imagination but as far as like a cinematic epic ending goes I think it was a little bit, like, more well thought out than the actual good ending was. Like, it was actually, like, it was a conclusion. It was an ending. You know what I mean? It wasn't just like, eh, everything worked out, and now I shoot you in the head. Like, it wasn't like that. It was like, you turned back, you helped Perseus, or the guy known as Perseus, um, and got the job done. They're saying he got a job to do. Got the job done, essentially, but for the Russians. And there was a whole appreciative cutscene at the end, and, you know, it was a whole thing. It was like a, it was an actual... There was closure to it. It was a bad ending. It wasn't a happy ending, uh, f at least for the United States and for all of Europe who got nuked. Um, but at least it was, a, it was a satisfying ending with closure. Uh, the good ending was not. And I don't believe this one is going to have that same closure. Where is Perseus? Again, we're going to lie. Sims, get Washington on the side. 
Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. And and again, th this cutscene is the same no matter what. Whether you lie or you tell the truth. The only difference is right when you stand up, if you notice, you're looking at Adler. Suddenly, the uh, I, I meant to say this before and I don't know if I did. Um, so you could set up the ambush, but you don't have to. You can just chill and wait. Adler. Like an idiot. Um... But yeah, now everybody here, now all of a sudden they're all red names, implying that they're you're no longer on their team. So yeah, if you just stand around and you don't come through here, yes, this is where all the information was, I guess, beforehand. Uh, and there's a video game back here too, the video spiel. It said something about that too. But yeah, if you don't phone in the ambush, this is how you get the third alternate ending. I guess the second alternate ending. Even this is glitchy as all hell, though. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruption. So it does seem like the vast majority of these cutscenes and everything, uh, between the two bad endings, the cutscenes are all pretty much the same. At least up until this point. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech uses a lot of juice which also confirms that there is actually even in the good ending there's no actual way that you can get Perseus either Perseus wins or the US wins and Perseus gets away those are the only two real options when it comes to the ending of the game which again brings back my first comment that this ending is trash uh, the good ending is trash the alternate bad ending that we just saw was mediocre it was a, it really wasn't happy but it was a mediocre um i never doubted it and then you know we'll see about this third one let's see Adler, no contact over here Blazing's empty same i haven't seen shit all right everyone converge on the gate so again we're here in duga And this time, I imagine, we, I mean, there's no ambush, right? We didn't call in for the ambush. So, we're going to see how this plays out. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bill? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seen anything on our side either. It's him. Fucking lied to us. That true, Bill? Pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes. So as you can see, there's no, uh... You were a fool to trust me, typical American arrogance, unless stop, the United States will harm the world more with than those nukes. Uh... I'm gonna do that one, I guess. What fucked up logic is that? What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. I bet on the winning horse. Like help the U.S. hide nukes across the world. Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference. I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. I'm sorry that you won't be around to find out. At least he never robbed me of my identity. Uh, that one. Apparently, we didn't do a good. All right, so gun down. Fuck if I care. Leave it for Perseus to find. Get us number one. We gotta warn the president. My God, how many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them. Okay, so again, it seems like the same exact ending, same cutscenes. Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the. So my question. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure location. It's not gonna. I mean, Bell's dead now, right? Any business related. So you're not gonna get all the intel. Everything. Can you make that happen? from Perseus this time around.
Or maybe he will still. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new so world it seems the opportunity we have provided like the exact same ending. Not the exact same ending. But as far as the cutscenes go. Nassim Javadi fell into CIA hands. He's far too soft. I will need someone to handle his erasure. Yeah, so it seems like all of this is the same. Uh, the only thing that's going to change, probably, is the dialogue where Percy has actually addressed Bell, or whoever he actually is, um, directly. Where it was like, you know, it was a, it was a good time gunning them down with you. As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding We already got this information. I need him so again, this is all the same. I think this is, after this, is going to be where it actually changes up a little bit. I guess we'll find out, though. Here, maybe? Helen Park perished in Cuba. She had been sniffing around the edges of our group for years. One less Western nuisance for us to That's the same. The others, however, are still out there. I will finish them all off myself if I have to. Okay, so that's different. You know, because they're not all dead. Unfortunately, our key asset within the U.S., Robert Aldrich, was... That's killed. the same. Aldrich, Aldrich is dead no matter what. We will need to rebuild and find new leadership. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his... I think there. that was already a thing, too. The CIA also managed to eliminate all three of Rudnick's key assets. We have no one else to help you. Again, that one was from, um... New agents into such influential the one side mission. Yeah, that, that was the same. I remember that now. But I have no doubt these are but temporary losses. That's the same. We are just getting started, my friend. Okay. So basically, it just cuts out the one section... But yeah, so really, uh, the good ending and that last bad ending that we showed, uh, was, they're, they're pretty dumb. They're both pretty <laughs> shitty endings. Uh, just trash. I, I, I stand by the fact that the first bad ending we showed where you call in the ambush, I think, like, from just from a closure standpoint, from a storyline standpoint, it's a twist at the end, and I think that was by far the best executed uh ending i think with the cutscenes involved and everything that went down with it i think that was the best most uh concise ending and i think uh the good ending should have been the best ending they explain how well they did how bell's a hero blah 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 and then bell and adler presumably just shoot themselves or shoot each other uh it's terrible just a terrible ending all around just a terrible ending and it's sad that the one bad ending where all the american soldiers die uh was technically the best ending out of the three um but yeah those are all three of the endings here in call of duty black ops cold war this and every video uh here on pause games is in order to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis research uh, so if you are interested in seeing uh, what this project is all about and supporting the cause, jump on over to our website, pause.tv, P-O-Z-Z dot TV. Uh, there, like I said, you'll find all the information about the project, about the team, about uh, what you can do. I'm John from Pause Games. Like I said, make sure to tune in next week as we jump into a brand new campaign here on Campaign Killer. Till next time, thank you so much for watching.